News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Friday. Two hours left to go in the trading week, and we got markets hanging around negative territory right now. Dow Jones off 146 points, trading 26,879. Got the Nasdaq negative by 55, trading at 8,101. S&P's negative by six points, trading at 2,991. Gold contract, negative by about $4 at $14.94 this afternoon. We've got oil, negative 48 cents at $53.45. And the dollar index with continued weakness in the face of some strength from the euro, some strength from the pound, the euro with strength going into the potential vote tomorrow on the possible Brexit deal. The dollar index down 307 ticks at 97,300. And we got a little bit of higher price and lower yield in the bonds tenure, up four ticks, 130.01. The 30-year up six ticks at 160.12. Start things off. Let's jump over to the charts. We'll start it off with the Dow. Quite a cascade to lower prices. The escalation to downward begins at 8.35 a.m. this morning. The Dow is above 27,000. You trade down almost a solid 250 points to 26,761. And catching a bid, a little bit of a bounce over about the last hour and a half, 26,831 in the Dow future right now. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar action. We reach a low at about 12.30 of 78.39 and quite a bounce. We're up a solid 50 points in the NASDAQ 100 to 78.89. But man, we traded almost 120 NASDAQ 100 points from 9.50 a.m. this morning down to the lows at 12.30. S&Ps, early this morning, right at 3,000. We trade down 25 S&P points to 29.75. And over about the last hour and a half, you're up a solid 15 S&Ps to 29.90. There's your crude oil chart early this morning, up there at 54.60. We've now traded down to 53.37, looking at session lows as we speak in the price of November crude. There's your euro trading higher as we've seen some dollar weakness. The euro at 111.59. And there's your gold contract, 14.94. In terms of other news out there, Jumping back to one of the headlines from yesterday, Netflix with their earnings yesterday, but they are continuing to tumble today on post earnings, subscriber reassurance fading. And to see that chart, folks, because boy, oh boy, NFLX, checking it out. Yesterday after the earnings, you were as high as 318. We opened it around 310. We're now under where we were before earnings. Pretty remarkable. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White coming up with a power trip.